All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, welcome back to Cigar Sherpa. I, of course, am your host, Laird Mayhew, and I am doing an impromptu hip pocket cigar review. I was up in Benson, North Carolina this morning, because I'm working. I was on a, uh, a deck reconstruction, screen and porch type estimate. And since I was up north in this area, I figured I'd stop in at one of my favorite brick and mortars locations. It's the JR Cigar Outlet there in Southern North Carolina. Just to see what they had. I was there. I had to pick up some cigars anyway. Uh, I was actually trying to see if they had the Nicaraguan Overrun Maduros. Um, I really enjoy that cigar. But they didn't have any. Um, it's been a while since they've had them in stock. So I check in there every now and then for them. But anyway, I came across this Arturo Fuente Especial. Can you see that? I don't want to like wreck or anything. Um, by Fuente, obviously. What it is, is a mixed filler cigar. So mixed filler, what does that mean? Cuban sandwich, a short filler, long filler. It's a mix. Basically, it's the leftover tobacco. Um, from making their higher end cigars. They don't want to throw it away. It's still good tobacco. It still tastes good. So they make budget sticks out of them. A lot of times you'll see these as factory overruns or mistakes. Or a lot of times they sell them to other people that wrap fancy bands around them and sell them to you for $10 a piece, believe it or not. Um, so I'm not going to do like a full review, obviously. I've already smoked this thing damn near to the final third. But what I have found is right from light up until now, the, the flavors don't really transition. They stay really consistent. And I am actually surprised. The burn on this thing has been damn near razor sharp. The ash is held on. Typically with a short filler cigar, the ash doesn't hang on as long and it's a little flaky because it's mixed filler. You know, it does not long, long cut, so it doesn't hang on as long. But this one has been very solid. Um, very even and the flavors have been consistent. So of course you want to know what the flavors the flavor profile has been um, Very typical of Fuente cigars. Um, it's very nutty cedary Okay, a little bit of spice there with the cedar like a spicy cedar when I say spice I mean um, baking spices like a cinnamon nutmeg uh, Type flavor the smoke is actually slightly creamy. It's not as creamy as they tip the Fuentes typically are Kind of buttery at times um but uh very good retro ale very smooth mild cigar very mild cigar with a very good like flavor <laughs> for a budget this is probably the this is the the best one of the best and i'll say one of the best my favorite uh budget stick is the uh, jlp the jose el pedra of cuba it's a mixed filler cigar all Cuban tobacco and it's, it's very good. It's very cheap. It's like two, three dollars a piece. Um, can't beat it. But this cigar here, for what you can access easily by ordering online and getting cheap, I think I paid four, about five dollars for this. So we're going to call that a budget stick for you know, as Fuentes goes. And Fuentes typically aren't that expensive anyway, unless you get into the, like the Opus X, you know, things that are wrapped in that Dominican grown wrapper. Very expensive cigars. But uh, anyway, the uh, Especiales from Arturo Fuente. It's a 5-inch cigar with a 54 ring gauge, or 56. It might be a 56. It's kind of big. But uh, very mild, very smooth, very, like, creamy, buttery smoke, uh, cedar, nuttiness, a little bit of black pepper on the retro tail, but not much. It's very smooth. Very enjoyable. So if you're a guy like me that smokes sometimes four cigars a day, but typically two to three, you know, smoking those eight to twelve dollar sticks gets expensive over the course of a 30 day month. So I throw in some budget sticks in there and there are some great budget sticks out there. They're good for what I'm doing right now. I'm driving back to Fayetteville at about a 45 minute drive. This thing's keeping me company. You know, who was it? I forgot who said it. I saw it on a meme. I think it was George Lopez. In two Lopez. miles, take exit 58 to merge onto NC295 towards US 401. Yes, ma'am. 
uh, that said that, you know, a cigar sometimes is like a companion. Like when you're I'm driving, I got, you know, 45 minute drive. It keeps me company. It's there. So I think it was George Lopez, but I don't know if he said it. You know how people are these days. They got famous Hollywood actors attached to memes and the characters that they play, like not even like, not even like Tom Hardy, the actor saying it, Tom Hardy's character from what was that show about the, the Peaky Blinders? Like, he didn't say that. Like, Abraham Lincoln said that, you fucking moron. Oh, shit. I'm not supposed to curse on the cigar channel. Anyway, check out the cigar. I think you're going to enjoy it. And uh, as always, Cigar Sherpa Laird Mayhew was reminding you to be polite to everybody that you meet. You always have a backup plan in case things go south. And I'm out.